Welcome boys and girls, I am Pity Teen with Days. This visual novel, Dating Sam, has been created by a man with no experience in story writing, barely had any love life, and frequently failed at English subjects during his school days. You may encounter loopholes, unreasonable plots, and grammatical errors throughout the entire game. Oh, and no animals were harm in, in the make of this product. Only the creator. So, what is this? Days, as I mentioned as I may have mentioned before. What is this? Well, let me just say it like a like a freaking uh, game show host. Spot the Hermaphrodite. <laughs> yeah, this is like this is like this is like a fucking game where you where there's like I think like eight people you can date and and one of them is a hermaphrodite. How do you know which one of them is a hermaphrodite? You never know until it's goddamn too late. I I didn't play this game before. So it's perfect for me because I don't know what the hell, who the hell is the hermaphrodite and stuff. So let me just see what's 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 real and what's not. Okay, then is there any audio? He takes really fucking fast if that's if that's the right choice. So you know it's Valentine's Day and stuff. So so I decided that to make a short love related video game to play a sh to play a love related video game to see how 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 I would react in a situation like this. New game. I'm sorry. I... I ruined... it. I ruined the necklace I promised. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I already had the gift I always wanted. Is that an iPhone? Being with you before I leave. This is probably the hundredth time I watched the left of happiness on my phone. I always watch this indie film before the classes start. I've been doing this for around three years now. It's touching in a strange way. I'm not sure why, but it somehow reminds me of I. She was my neighborhood friend back when my family used to live in the province. That's not the only reason I, well, I love this film. I did a small part in its creation three years ago, and its director is currently attending the same school as me. Too bad we're not in the same class, though. I always adored her works. Hey, Sale! I look back to see where the voice is coming from. You're watching Life of Happiness again? You're surprisingly early today. It's not like I'm not like every day, you know. And what's with the smile? I finally got the cash to buy a P P P X free game. What? This is Charmy, a guy who always walks me to school for no particular for no particular reason. So he's the ambiguously gay dude, huh? Okay, man. Shamozi, that's Shamozi, and I'm your best buddy, you jerk. Friends don't call each other jerk, jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Well. Both of you are jerks! I turn my head to another direction and find out who said that. No need to argue, gentlemen. You're both jerks! The third person in the trio, Cerise. But I like calling her Sir Reese. The name suits her better since she acts boyish, anyway. Ah! Reese is good enough! The three of us often hang out here in school and we got nothing better to do. But we, but we do important stuff, too. Ranging from ditching classes to copying each other's homework. Ah, good. Good times, huh? Yeah, I don't really skip classes in high school because, oh, sorry, because I like to have 100% perfect attendance. Oh, you have the shiny thing. Where? What? Sh what shiny? Th what shiny thing? That ring you're wearing. Oh, this. I thought you were talking about Reese's forehead. <laughs> Just say knife out of my face. I don't have a huge forehead to wear a movie prop. It's not a prop, it's a ring I'm not wearing it. Yeah, I ring my uh, paper mache covered in aluminum foil. It was used in an indie film back then. Yeah, but... But it came from someone who was a... <laughs> huh? He meant special. Oh. Okay, fine. It came from her. But I'm wearing it because it's nice too. Right. Honest. Right. Ah. I was embarrassed when I took the ring off my finger and shoved it inside my bag. But let me talk a bag. Uh, anyway, any of you guys finished the algebra homework? What the fuck are you implying, dude? Of course I don't do my algebra homework. Nope. There was one? We still have 30 minutes, we can work on it before the class starts. Nah, math is still after recess. I vote for ice cream. Now, what, sh what should I do? Ice cream or fin I'll just finish it early, whatever. It's better to finish it early if you ask me. What about the ice cream? 
Save it for later. The homework's more important. Ice cream. I got the questionnaire, so let's head for the classroom. Ice cream. Okay, I'm behind you. After a few steps down the stairs to the corridor, Cerise stopped to look at Shamozi. Well, come on! But, why not buy yourself one thing catch up on us? Oh, good idea! Yeah, you do, but I see we're in the classroom. Okay, BRB. Ugh, you don't see that in real. He dashed away so fast that eyes were unable to catch up with his speed. Oh well. Come on, come on, let's go! Cerise continued to climb down the stairs while I followed her. But as we reached the upper corridor, I noticed a black haired girl watching me from afar. Yeah, maybe I'm just imagining things. I turned my head to see what person cleared him. It turns out she just sang with her alone, facing our direction besides mine. Maybe she's waiting for someone. Hey, our classroom's this way! Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I turned to Cerise once again and followed her. Maybe that girl will be a love interest. I mean, there's no one who. I mean, it's a freaking fictional. It's a, it's a work of fiction. Anything. It's pr any, any, everything has a meaning. There is no meaningless things thing happening. After a couple of minutes of sitting with our lives glued to our papers, Cerise finally broke silence. It's on! Finally! What's the answer for number 9 again? X, X equals 24Y. Damn math! As we'll be, as, as we will use this complex gibberish in the future. Exactly. Maybe I'm just being a douchebag, but it's, I kind of think that, you know, that's fucking stupid to be to, fail, to, for example, be held back a year because you can't do some complex gibberish that we won't even use in your life, probably in your profession. I mean, I mean, I don't think anyone is so stupid that they'll probably choose a profession which will have in which they'll have to utilize skills that they that they you know are badass. I don't think anyone is actually that stupid. In computer programming, yes. In computer programming, whatever, man. I mean, whatever, girl, but still. What if I will work as an, I don't know, for example, in a business, or just do pretty much, I don't know, freelance work, something like that. Or translation, for example. I was going to go into, you know, major in translation, but I didn't. Computer what? Programming, no. C, C++, Java, Python. Sounds geeky. Hey, screw you. Some guy made a video game in Java, and he made a lot of cash on it. A.K.A. Minecraft. Right. By the way, aren't you going to stalk her today like you always do? Who? Her. Miss Director. Direct. Oh, her. Let's see. I lift up my head and narrow my eyes over a certain circus that can be seen from the windows. She always walks past her for friends during NWF to go to the cafeteria. They, then they stay there for, for only 15 minutes, though. They arrive late at school in TTA, so they never had the chance to go there. Creep. It's not a crime, is it? I'm pretty sure it is. I mean. Stalking someone is probably a crime, don't you think? I'm pretty sure it can be it can register it can be registered as a sex offender. I, I, I believe. I don't know. But it sure is worse than being a geek. Do you think that you're going crazy over an ordinary looking girl? Hey, she may look ordinary, but she became a director of two films. Too many films. Let's forget her first film. Love of happiness was a failure. No, it's not. You're just it's not just as popular as wherever you are. Wherever what? Her second film. Ah, there she is. Which one of them is the chick? That's your so-called angel from heaven? The fallen angel from heaven to give us a talented artist? Yes! She's not even pretty. Do I smell jealousy? Well, I didn't even see her features, so yeah, she's not even that pretty. Whatever. Like, ah, uh, uh, she's not that ugly. She's like Hollywood homely, you know. People say she's ugly, but she's actually more attractive than a normal person. That girl over there is Iris. She's an indie film director I admire. It's been three years since I started liking her. I first met her when I helped making a prop for her first film. I don't think she's aware of my, even aware of my existence, though. That's because I never had the courage to talk to her, not even a single hi. If you like her that much, why don't you just talk to her already? I don't think she even remembers me. Besides, she's got loads of fans to memorize. It's not a god or anything. It's supposed to say what you're doing for the world. But, but I don't know how to talk to girls. I'll take that as an insult. What? Let's talk to her. I care about film and stuff. What inspired her to make her latest film? Or what are the other things she what are the things she enjoyed most from making them? Or what made her want to become a director in the first place? You know, those kinds of stuff. Hmm. Hey, Cerise! Hey silly! I brought us ice cream. Don't call me silly. It, it reminds me of that neighborhood girl years ago from that my course by I got strawberry and chocolate dip for you guys. I only need yogurt. 
I don't like you, Robum. No takers? Anyone? Well, more for me. I'll take a strawberry. I'll have the chocolate dip. Aww. Don't take it the wrong way. I just want to, I just want to help you by not making you fat. Shamozi stands out and gives us the frozen treats. By the way, I saw Iris on my way there. I'm over here. Too late. Mr. Soccer already knew. Hey! Ah, as I, as I, as I expect, he's from a creepy little friend. I'm not creepy. Whatever you say. Sorry. I just started speaking in a French accent because Shamozi sounds very French, don't you think? So I just started speaking in, speaking with a French accent if I, as, 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 as good as I can. Whatever you say. Ah! Time passed after several classes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a lifesaver. I'm just being afraid. Story sealed, but I gotta stay here in the classroom. I got some copying to do. Ah, okay, how about you, Reese? I gotta meet my little sis. She texted me now, she's waiting for me. Need company? Thanks, but no thanks. She might get all excited again. Excited about what? You don't wanna know. Well, head out, I guess. Hmm, what to do? Going back to the classroom will be boring. Shamozi's by himself there over there copying down to Reese's work. I should go to the cafeteria for some snacks. Huh? It's Reese. Hmm, I think of it. I haven't seen Reese's sister. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, what should I do? What should I freaking do? <sighs> I guess. Uh. Follow Reese, I guess. <laughs> Finally, something exciting for today. I follow three out of curiosity. For some odd reason, though, I lost track of her. Maybe I need, to, I need more practice following people around. Blah! How frustrating. I'll just walk around wherever my feet lead me. Uh, and nothing you should see here. Except there's something shiny behind the garbage can. I reach for the shiny object. It turns out to be a pair of binoculars. Who the heck would leave a nice pair of binoculars here? Should I, should I take it? That would be stealing. I returned to the binoculars so I found it. I think it's the right thing to do. Ah, so he's not, he's the first non kleptomaniac protagonist, huh? Besides this, I guess there's nothing else to see. I'll, I'll, I'll head back to the classroom. I was about to slip inside the classroom and I saw a voice coming from the room behind me. Excuse me? I turned around to face the inquirer person. As soon as I arrived, my, my entire body froze. May I ask, are you from class 4 or 5? Yes. Yeah, why? You see, I'm looking for some class 4 or 5 event. Miss Iris, can I you for a while? I first I don't recognize that to our conversation. Ah, please give me a second. Iris, tr Iris turns to face a persistent person. Yes? I really, really need to do this before I get back to my class. I have this opportunity. The girl hands out a piece of paper and pen. My friend is a big fan of yours. Can I get your autograph for her? Please, 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 please. Oh, okay. Can you on this paper? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I don't need to address me as a man, but thanks. Let's see. With enough dedication, anything is possible. Iris. Um, um, could you also put there, to Amy? To Amy. Here you go. I hope this will please your friend. She gave the paper and pen back. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll be going now. Take care, Miss Iris. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You too. Huh? Where'd he go? Man, I'm going to some chips. Can I get chips with you, Seal? Hey, you need chips with you? What's with your face? You're all red. Did you want to chase you or something? Let me ask you, did you, find it? you did something embarrassing, didn't you? Well, then he was hanging here. Excuse me. Surprisingly, Iris is headed speaking from inside the classroom. One of our classmates replied to her. Yeah? Psst. Hey, Mr. Rector's here. Oh, so that's what happened. I'm looking for a person named Seal. Is he from this class? What? Yeah, he's right over here. Seal! Hey, Seal! Someone's looking for you! Seriously? Me? It's gonna be me. Ooh, did something happen? N no, I, I don't know. My, my. You're getting litter and litter. Shut up, you're not helping. Oh, is Seal busy? I should, I should go back later and said. Just a sec. Hey, Shamozi. I think your friend here is bringing earphones. Tell him someone's looking for him. Sure, sure. Come on, she's outside. Go get her. Don't make a girl wait. She's right. I shouldn't make her wait. I filled my lungs with air to build up my courage. I then stood up, stepped outside the classroom, and finally approached her face to face. 
Um, you were looking for me? Ah, so you're a seagull? Y yeah. I didn't know I should recognize you, but I'm sorry for bothering you. For bothering you, maybe I kind of went, maybe I kind of acting only back for. <laughs> or not? I was. Well, I'm sorry I left for a while ago. Oh no, no, it's okay. At least I'm able to borrow some of your time now. You're one of the prop makers from my first film, right? Ah, uh, yes. From Love to Happiness. Yep. If I remember, right when the film was finished, all the props were given back to the people who worked on them. Is yours still with you? It's about paper mache ring and aluminum foil, right? Yeah, that's the one. Do you still have it? It's in my bag. Let me get. See you. Holy! Holy moly! I've seen a lot of teachers, but I never seen a teacher as endowed as this one. Damn. Class is starting now. Yes, ma'am. Oh my, I have to go back in class too. Let's continue this later, maybe at lunch. Is this cafe have fun with you? Great, see you later then. Please the corridor to head for the for a classroom. Cafeteria. Lunch with Iris. As time passed, lunch break arrived. So you started doing it in the cafeteria? Yes. I said that about placing the paper mache ring on my finger. Does that mean we eat lunch with her? What kind of a question is that? It's a cafeteria, what else do you do there? Well, she didn't say anything about eating together. That's automatic, why would she? What is the official then? You guys have the direction. Sure is. Wait, no! Maybe? She signed the paper mache ring for the first film. It's not even official debt. Group hug! Wait, 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 no! No, Charmy, I want, I want a group hug. Ah. Damn, I haven't even seen it in my life. This is awesome. I said it's not, I said it's not official. It's just an ordinary lunch. Ah, good guys, you're squeezing me. Dude, I grew up in a boy eating together at the lunch today. No, it's not. That's just eat. While Sham was eating, squeezing us all, I felt something disturbing. Oh no, something hard, and it's poking my lower side. Uh oh. Is that what I think it is? Oh, fuck me, dude. I felt a chill from my spine just out just now, and a nauseating feeling came next. Charmy, is that... Before I finish my sentence, I noticed there's something unusual. The prying sensation is coming from behind me. <laughs> I managed to push Shamo's East Tiger up away from us. Oh, I'm just happy for you, man. You don't have to push me that hard. Dude! We can't breathe in your deadly hug. Yeah, yeah, I got too excited. Oh no. 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 No, don't tell me that, she, that she's the one with a dick. God damn it. Reese? I just remembered. It's, it's alright now, she's in the cafeteria waiting for you. Huh? Well, I guess so. What are you waiting for? Get your butt here already. Oh, right. Okay, okay. You made her wait. Wait once. Are you planning on doing it again? I said okay. I'll go. I'll go. Good luck, I don't f and don't let her see you sweat buckets. Did I just... She just fucking dry humped me. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck. Great, I just... Great. Uh, now I, now I got, now I know who the, now I know who the hermaphrodite is, god damn it. I rushed my way to the cafeteria as agreed a while ago. But on my way there I saw a black haired girl not so far from me facing my direction. Again. And this time, I'm sure she's looking at me because her head following my moving body. Uh oh. She seems like this sadistic stalker. Oh, fuck me. No, man, no, man. What the? It's really weird, but that doesn't really matter right now. A girl is waiting for me. I'm going to ignore this now, and for now, and head to the cafeteria. Alright, here I am. Rocking like a hurricane. <laughs> there she is. Iris, the girl I've been stalking for ages. She's now sitting on the table waiting for me. Okay, here goes nothing. Smooth move, dumbass. You need to relax. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, I didn't see you there. Ah! Idiot! Baka. Baka. Baka! <laughs> Sorry. She placed her book down. Are you okay? I I'm okay. I'm okay. Just start catching my, my breath. Ugh. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> so you ran here? Yeah. 
I'm missing no teacher spy on your way here. Um, how can you tell? We ha we have no running the school quarters policy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh. Crap, she's staring at me. Why is she staring at me all of a sudden? Is something wrong? That depends. Is your friend okay? Huh? What's my voice have to do with anything? No, I'm I'm fine. Because you're talking like this all, all the time. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not intimidating me by me, are you? What? Why would I? Um, I'm not a monster or anything. I'm not gonna shove my hand in your chest and pull your heart out to eat it. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a valid fetish. Wait, what? And insert my upper arm to the same holes reached for your kidneys and intestines. What the? Then snag your ribs one by one so I can get a hold of your lungs. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've always wanted to make a horror movie. Well, I don't know. So I guess she's the sadistic, uh, freaking crazy chick, huh? Okay, then. <laughs> I guess now I know who to date. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have pro uh, either a stalker, a crazy sadistic chick for, for, for an affinity for violence, or a, or, a, or a girl with a dick. I guess I have no other goddamn choice. You see, a lot of people seem to be afraid to talk to you since wherever you are became popular. But to be honest, it's wherever you are that's popular, not me. I'm just a regular person or attending a regular school. I'm not special or anything, I just made it. Oh, oh. I just know that there are actually people who call me Master or God. Maybe one day I'll have some people who actually call me by that as well. Maybe, I just hope not because... I mean, I'm just a normal person who is not even that interesting. I mean, it really surprised me when I first heard that. It's, well, of course it's flattering to hear your but it's kind of too much, right? Imagine you're a person you read from a fan. He'd be like, Master Iris? Who the heck is this old so great guy rusher anyway? And when he sees my work, he would be disappointed if I only made indie movies. <laughs> well, your works really are great. I don't think of it. It's not. I don't think. I don't think it's nothing. It's something to be embarrassed of, even if it's only indie. Yeah, but thanks. You see, to me, maybe it's a okay in the indie level, but it's not Hollywood great. Ah, uh, there. Most Hollywood movies are pretty much the same. Explosions. Girl, be hot girl bending over. Romance. Kissing. Explosions. Do over the bad guy, whatever. Uh, maybe that. That's probably not true. That's probably not true. You know, I'm just mixing stereotypes from all, you know, from multiple genres and multiple ages of films, so maybe. So I'm just probably exaggerating. I was just too hyperbolic to be believable. <clears throat> he doesn't have to be Hollywood great, just call it great. That's what I think. Yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, I mean, if, a, if an indie movie is good for an indie movie, then. It's it's good. I mean, come on. It's simple. If a movie is good for uh, for its let's see compared to you know to the standards, then yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, how else should it be? Oh, one day you'll make a really terrific movie that can compete with the Hollywood ones. But for now, we're just students making a low-budget indie movie is already amazing. What you made is a nice stepping stone to you for your to your career in the future. You're right. Maybe I'm expecting too much of my works. Take it step by step. Mm-hmm. And you know what's even better? You're not scared of me anymore. Huh? Oh, ah, I noticed I was scared in the first place. Yeah, but you don't sound like this anymore. <laughs> hey, girl, is this a guy? Two familiar girls came to approach Iris. Yup. They went on their way and sat beside her. See, see y'all? This is Mikhail and Carmine, my best friends. Yo. Nice to meet you. Carmi and Mikado, huh? I always see them with Iris, but I never bother knowing her name, knowing their names. Girl says the seal, the one who decorated the ring. Hi. Damn. And here I thought I'd be, I'd be alone with Iris. I was expecting a cuter, cuter guy. Huh? Well, he's not half bad. <laughs> who, who, what are you guys talking about? I just asked him to come because of the ring. Of course, he came here with a ring for you. Yeah, to propose? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, see so you all. It's short and simple. Just ask her, will you marry me? Uh, guys. <laughs> hey, look, he's actually blushing. My, my, my. Guys. Okay, okay. We're just kidding. I'm sorry. Just ignore him. Well, um, we're sure. Uh, ah, we're here. Hopefully, Ma'am Sung won't interrupt us anymore. Yeah, she can easily break a conversation in five words. She broke her date. I'll be quiet now. About the ring. I pulled the ring off of my finger and showed it to them. You were wearing it? Well, there was a ways to keep it hidden, so I... How long have you been wearing it? Years? 
You... you didn't... May I please have it? Oh, sure. I hand her the ring. I notice her hands trembling. She's going teary-eyed and her eyebrows are contracting. I was scared, but it's something I said. Surprisingly, she grabbed her book and left us in haste. I Hi Iris. Let her. But... Why? In the world... Were you wearing that ring? I shouldn't. Do you have any idea what the... Carmine, he doesn't know a thing about the ring. He doesn't know it's special. Uh, she looks pissed. Too pissed for a simple ring. Sure, there's a story behind this. The ring is special. Uh, I think it's best I fill you in. Okay. You know about the film Left Happiness, right? It's her first film. Yeah, well, that film was actually based from her childhood memories. Really? She had a close friend back when she was eight, and she really, really adored a tour this friend of hers. She used to tell us... <coughs> She used to tell us about almost every day about how sweet that guy is. That he's the first person who has a problem every time she cries. How caring and helpful he is when she's in trouble. Yada yada yada. But her friend had to move to a different place. Because of that, she wanted to surprise him with a handmade gift before he leaves. Just like in the film, only the other way around. Unfortunately, she didn't finish it in time, so her friend left without her even knowing she had a gift for him. I see. So what happened to the necklace? Uh, no, no, no. In the film, she used a necklace as a special gift. When the, tr when the true story is not even as fancy as that. I even know it's silver. What is it then? You were wearing. You were wearing it. <laughs> yes, it's a ring. I have no. Wait, wait. If that ring is special, then why did she use it as a prop? And why is she reclaiming it just now? It's been three years already. I wish I could tell you, but even we don't know the reason. All we know is that after we attended her fan club event about a week ago, she got really stressed. Fan club event? Well, fans are fans are enthusiastic enough to make a special event just for her. I after the event, she cried to us and said a lot of things we didn't fully understand. Like, what have I been doing all these years? I became a director because of him. How could I have forgotten him? Yeah, 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 more from myself as expected. Come on, stop that. Act like the friend you are. Yeah, I'm not a drama queen here. What? What? You're unbelievable. Wait. I can see where this is going. It's all, it's all sorry because of me. Can I ask you for a favor? Could you tell her I'm sorry? I really didn't mean it. If only I knew the ring is precious, so I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be wearing it in the first place. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but I don't think she even wants to see me. Well, I guess I could do that. It's better than nothing. Don't worry, I'm sure she will understand. Thank you. We better go now. Can I find her before lunch break ends? Okay. See ya. See you later. Both of them left. <sighs> I'll just eat. Got room for two more? What? That didn't do that well, did it? Maybe I kind of messed up. I don't even know what that ring was. Oh wait, let's get some tea first. Yeah, tell us everything we'll wait for our stomachs. Sure. Is that for real? A little paper mache ring can make a person that emotional? I can't tell if that's going to be special to her or not. Well, at least I gave it back to her. Should be thankful I didn't throw away for three years. Yeah, I even took good care of it. Even that's for another guy, I hope it will make her happy. Happy? You know, you really think a simple ring can make her happy? Huh? What do you mean? Well, think about it. Sure, she got the ring. Then what? Make sweet love, love of it? <clears throat> no comment. What? She can make love she can make love with a small ring? I understand being special enough but crying over this kind of well Hey, don't talk badly about her, please. I still have feelings for her, you know. No, no, it's not like that. It's just, well, fine. I admit, I'm simply trying to forget. I'm simply trying to convince you to forget her while so early. Don't lose yourself for a girl who's taken. You'll just hurt yourself more. I kind of agree. I don't know. It's not that easy. Like they say, there are many fish in the sea. God. <laughs> You're not in love to understand how I feel right now. You understand? I do. I'm not an idiot. I'm a girl myself, so I know what's best for you. Are you even sure? Yes. Trust me, I said I know how to love how love works. No, not that. I mean, are you sure you're a girl? <laughs> Excuse me? What? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I'm a girl. Oh wait, it's almost time for class. Alright, we just ate. So, let's go now. You guys go ahead. Huh? Why? That's just what he says. 
See you later. See you. Okay. What? I don't get it. Please, Jack, charm me for in love. Great, stupid fate. I still inside to leave the cafeteria. About my way through the corridor, I saw a familiar face. Is that fangirl? Well, technically, she said her friends defend a virus. <laughs> While I was pondering, she approached me. Oh, hi there. Your Iris's girl, your Iris's, your Iris's friend I saw a while ago. Friend? Oh, no, no, no. She just, well, that's right. She only wanted to bring back. Nothing else. Is there something wrong, mister? Oh, no, that's something offensive. What? No, I mean, no, it's okay. She was, she was just looking for a prop that works on her, on for her, for her, for, for her first film. A prop? Did you know the production of Left with Happiness? Yeah, that was four years ago, though. Wow, that's awesome. What was it? Just a small ring. It was worn by the male leading character. Oh, the silver ring is his right pinky. I never knew you made that. I didn't really make it. I just redecorated. Wait, wait. You can tell he's wearing it on his pinky. Right, pinky. You're the one who wanted the autograph, weren't you? Yeah. You got me. I'm Amy. All right. My whole name is Amethyst. They can call me Amy. I'm a long running member of Iris' fan club, if you must know. Nice to meet a fellow fan. My name is Seal. Fellow, fellow fan? You're also an Iris follower. You bet I am. Ever since I worked on that really little ring, I got obsessed with her works. Ooh. So which one do you like the most? Life of happiness or wherever you are? Life of happiness, hands down. Oh my gosh, me too! Wherever you are is really with our strong emotions that we're life of happiness, I can't explain. Well, wherever you are was mostly focused on, on how the boy looks for her, for the girl, but not how they look, how they both feel for each other. Unlike with the happiness that shows the, the determination of how much he wanted to finish the necklace for her. And at the end, BAM! The necklace was ruined. It was, it's devastating. Yes, yes, that's amazing awesome. So that's that it crushes, crushes your soul. But a lot of people in the fan club don't like that part. It's not what they're having, it's so po not so popular. Not to me. Who cares about what they think? Oh, you're just definitely trying to fan club. Hmm, what do you guys do for anyway? We, ma we masturbate the pictures of virus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm not really making too many quips. I'm just, I'm just focusing on the commentary. I mean, focusing on, on the plot. Oh, how do you give Iris ideas and inspiration? Let me guess. Meditation, masturbation, copulation. We sometimes help other fans in the work of the community. Handing out flyers? We also got the best sources of our studies movie ideas as well. Then our members get the chance to talk to Iris herself and interview her. It's not much about activities, but it's definitely about supporting Iris. I think her number we love her works. I see. That sounds neat, alright? I'll think about it. I got a lot of fame of no time, I'm sure of it. Ah, speaking of time. Hmm? I look at my, I look at, I look at my phone. Holy crap! I'm playing Miss Life on my class! Oh yeah. Oh yeah? We're both late. I got permission from my teachers, is that a problem for me? I thought you didn't mind. Darn it, I gotta go now. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Don't wanna be a fool for you. I'm just I'm just another player in your game for two. What are we doing outside, outside the classroom? Psst! Seal. What are you guys doing here? I can see the teacher inside the classroom. Shh! Huh? You were just thinking. Wanna ditch classes? What? Right now? Keep your, keep your voice down. Oh, right. I'm thinking of buying... I'm thinking of buying ZPX for the game. Are you in? Hmm. I can't think. Bomba bomba do pivnicy. Napisała na tablicy S O S G P P S. Amen. Seriously, you guys are just getting caught. Don't be a sour grape now. We do this every now and then. Ah, uh, uh, sure. Let's go. Right behind ya. We made our way to the school's entrance. There was something feels officer today. She said she's unusually quiet now. Well, what? We are finally out of the school. Ah, it feels refreshing. It's been a while since I last saw the streets in at this hour. Oh, right. We're finally here in the PX City's shop. Hey, it's closed. What? Closed. We're open at 3 p.m. Oh, that sucks. Beep! I know another shop that sells PX free games, but I forgot where it is. Oh, uh, I know about that too. It's the one that also sells <coughs> products. <laughs> I knew you were talking about that. About that. <laughs> now, where was that again? Is it this way? Isn't it this way? Um, yeah, let's try that one. Pharmacy, Minimart, Restaurant. 
I don't remember the shop being here. Music store, hot dog stand, stray dog. Okay, it's not here. I told you it was on the other street. I don't remember you saying that. I did. I even pointed my finger at the road. Oh, are you sure? I don't remember what you saying. Yeah, let's try that one. I even, I even said, is it this way? Is it, is it this way? I was asking when you said. Can we just go to the other street? Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, crap. It's not here either. Can you, can you say what's on this street? Okay, I was wrong. We're both wrong. You know we can just wait for 3 o'clock. We just waste our time walking. No, that could work. What do you guys want to do in the meantime? Ice cream? Again? I'm saying like it's the best thing. Like ice cream reads? Hey, I think it works for me. Ice cream it is. We sat on a random bench while enjoying, enjoying eating our cold desserts. I noticed Therese hasn't even her ice cream yet. Not even a bite. Huh? You haven't touched your ice cream. I'm gonna slop the fish in seconds. I wonder where that shop is. Yeah, this isn't that large. We should have, we should have found it already. Hey, Reese, any idea, any idea where that shop is? How should I know? How should I know? I had to find a disgusting pervert in another place. Maybe it's that way. What, what are you saying at? Is something bothering Reese? She is an eyebrow. What makes you say that? You're awfully quiet today. Okay, so? And you're... Uh, how should I... How do I... How do you call that? Pessimistic? Sarcastic? I forgot the word. Whatever that... Whatever that... Whatever that is, I'm fine. I'm just following you guys. Huh? What are you guys talking about? You're not fine, I can tell. Oh, great. We're, I'm sure we're making this a big deal now. Well, I'm really sorry. I don't know being quiet is a crime now. Now you're being an ass. Guys? I'm just concerned. Maybe we can help you help you with whatever is troubling you. Come on, we're, we're your friends. Hmm. I saw that. I definitely saw that. She rolled her eyes. Alright, that's it. What's the problem? Uh, seal? Was it something we said? Did we forget something important? It's kind of class to bother you that much. What is it? Tell us! You guys don't understand. What? Nothing. If I'm being a toy, yeah. Uh, Till last we enjoy our mother might as well go back to school. Have fun, guys. She hops off. She hops off the bench and walks. Walk, and starts walking to the direction towards the school. Hey, don't walk out on us. Watch me. Nah. I say I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. I jumped off my seat and grabbed her arm. S Seal. Get your hand off me. She tugs her arm away from my grip. Whatever is bothering me is none of your business. All right. So if you guys know what my problem is, what makes you think you can solve it anyway? Now just leave me alone. You call me an ass. You're being an ass. God. Ah. I'm left speechless while I watch her walk away. What on earth happened? Uh, do you think we should follow her? I don't know, man. She looks pissed. I mean, really pissed. Pissed. Is it okay if I pass on buying your PX3 game today? I want to follow her. You might make her sting some more if you do that. No, no, I'm going to apologize. It's my fault I made a big fuss about it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna come with you. Thanks, but I'm fine alone. I don't want to get you in trouble. Oh, ain't that sweet. <laughs> Shut up! Just make sure she's fine, alright? The game can wait anyway. Thanks. And sorry. It's cool. It's cool. Go after her, man. Oh fuck. Sorry. My phone just... My, my phone just, uh... I placed my phone and on, on, on my desk and it just... fell. I will. See you tomorrow. See ya. Now, if I was her, where would I go? I, instinct, I instinctively look at the restroom, specifically the mirror. Be serious, CEO. Where do you think she... Where did she go? Uh... Mm, shit. Uh, uh, let me think. Maybe she... Nearest, nearest corridor. I hope she doesn't go that far yet. I still can't find Reese. By now I'm sure she'll be with school and with home. <sighs> I passed on Charmy's PX3 game. And now I, and I didn't get to find Reese. Ah, <sighs> it's stupid. I waste my time for nothing. I'll just go home. The end. What? What? Okay, then. So, that was a shitty ending. Let's just, uh... I'll just cut, cut forward to a different... To a, to a moment where I'll make a different decision, okay? Okay, then. This time I saved, so... Let's go to the, to the random corridor this time. I decided to go to the random corridor. Heck, I don't even know where to look. I still can't find Reese. By now, I'm sure she already left school and went home. 
<sighs> well, that didn't change shit. But this time, not stupid. Let's go to the corridor where the teacher's lounge is. I went back to the corridor where we were walking through just a while ago. But I didn't see her anywhere in this corridor. Ah, uh, this is a bull. Where is she? I walked around the corridor aimlessly to look for her. After a few steps, I suddenly bumped to a person who came out of nowhere. Ah! Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> my things, they're everywhere, and I was, I was about to put them in my bag. I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you. Oh, it's you, okay. I can get it myself. No, I insist. I'll help. I started collecting her things. I didn't cut my eyes, though. Huh? Is this an anime DVD? Oh, um, I am. I didn't know you watch anime, too. Too? You're into anime? Not really. I'm more of a gamer. You probably watch more than I have. Well, not all. Most of the time I watch the popular ones. I'm not really into fads and all that. Blackstone pop Blackstone Slasher is popular. Even got a game for PXP. You know BSS? I'm waiting for his game release. But I bet they're not gonna make an English version. I guess well, it's, a it's awesome. I mean, first I have to find out how Mickey Watson and then look how big it is. Looks like Ryu from, Hi Ryu from Hypercell. The composer was first a vocali vocal eye user, now he's got his own vocalist. And BSS is so cool. She's silent. She's a badass. She's, she's so awesome. Yeah, you can hardly find girls with huge weapons in animes. Got the huge weapons? How many of those in the MMOs? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I forgot. I forgot your things. Ah, me too. Hmm? Uh, um, here are your things. Sorry for the trouble. It's okay. Thank you. I'm curious. Are you doing specific anime series right now? Well, currently I'm into uh, Attack on Titan. Uh, I also... I'm really also back, got back to Shaman King after, after like last watching it on TV multiple years ago. <clears> hmm, <throat> not so far. Last time I, t I watched was Jayon. Jayon? <laughs> I don't know any of the movie blobs. Well, I used to watch Golden Rigon any before. Oh, are you sure? Golden Rigon is cool. Here's to the heavens! <laughs> yeah, that and Gamma's death was tragic. The tragedy. I tried manly tears. Mm hmm. So I'm on your way home. Yep, how about you? I was looking for someone, but I bet that person was home already. Would you mind if I accompany you? No, if you're telling the first family to watch. <laughs> sure, why not? And I'm ending. Huh. Okay, then, so it's like the semi bad ending. Okay, then, let's go. Let's see, back to the classroom. I still can't find Reese. Uh. Okay, then. On my way of interested to school, I saw a girl sitting on the ground. And she looks like she's talking to someone, but I don't see anyone of her. Oh, it's Mikado, one of Iris' friends. Why is, she, why is she talking to a kitten? I'm only doing the best I can, Kitty. Why well, always try not to be the wrong person? I just want everything to be smooth and convenient for everyone. But every time there are things that need to be done, there's someone expecting people to do it. And my other people, they always seem to want Mikado to do it. Just, just once, Kitty, I want to see another person making uh, make an effort to make me happy. I walk close to her. Hi, Mikado. <laughs> ah, hello there. The kid suddenly ran away. I'm sorry, I have to be honest, I kind of overheard you talking. Oh, oh. I was talking to myself, don't mind what I said. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, no, no, I'm okay, don't worry about it. See, there's a problem. Pardon me? When a person offers you something for you, you get embarrassed and decline the offer. How will other people offer you something if you tell them you don't want it in the first place? I'm guessing you got used to doing the dirty jobs all the time. You can focus on other people's convenience and happiness so much that you're trying to spoil them. Every time they're with you, you think you have a personal maid ready to catch her butts. I don't blame you for it, though. I can see why. There are many reasons for you to act like that. You want to owe others for, for doing you a favor. Or you find out performance of another person unsatisfying. Or you want things to be done in simple, swift, and quick matters since relying on others makes it complicated. Or you just want to be independent and do everything on your own. Hey, I can give you hundreds of other reasons at any time. I'm sorry. I'll be, but not all of what you said applies to me. It doesn't matter. The point is you have to let you have to let them do things for you too. Not everyone isn't capable of doing what they what you can do if you're not illiterate. You don't have to catch everything. It also has some of the dirty jobs. Don't be shy, don't be afraid either. Trust them. Trust them that they can do it too. Just like you. If you if you want others to make you happy, let them know that. Or else nothing will happen. How can you know about this sort of thing? I was most likely until I snapped My sincerest apologies. My mother was calling me t to tell me that she'll be back home by 12 p.m. So about three hours. And now living alone in an apartment makes the trouble I've caused. I want the end of the trouble things to happen to you too. So I'll ask you one more time. 
Is there anything I can do for you? Thank you. I might know how or why, but what you said made me feel relieved. You're welcome. But before I leave, I'm just asking to do this for a for time. Huh? Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, come on, let me do you a favor, just for once. I'm feeling generous today. Well, it's not necessary. So it will be. Help you with your homework, carry something heavy, spit shine your shoes, anything you ask. Anything? Are you sure? Uh-oh. Oh, hell no. Now, now I know what's going to happen. I think I know what's going to happen. I don't, I, I, you, it's always, it, it's going to end well. It's, gonna, it's not going to end well. Sorry. <laughs> it's not going to end well. Sure, I'm sure. Besides, that yourself. You want to experience another person doing something to make you happy. Please don't be that person. I don't know why should I should trust you, but could you promise I'm the only one? Sure. Well, she reaches for something inside her bag and pulls it out. Is that a headband with cat ears? I always wonder how a guy will look like when wearing this. Yeah? Let's see then. <laughs> like this. Hey, I look cute. Hey look, Minato looks cute. Eee! A what? So cute. Blood pressure to my cheese. It's not, it's not a really hero thing to hear, hear a girl calling that. Well, of course, it's the cat you're referring to, not me. But it's cute? Of course. Look. She has never had that cat ears from her back. Well, you know, she actually has a pair of them. See, it's adorable, right? Mm, I guess so. I can't really tell, even though they're so cute, you know. Oh, you. Yeah, I remember seeing this from a video on the internet. I think it goes like this. I always want to swing my hips. I know that dance. Oh, Karame dance and us. Karame or something. I forgot to tell it was all in before. Ron San Yu, Japa in a hell man. You were so many words, a lot of little facts, and it's no lie. We saw me to rose and look at me. How I'm Karame dancing. Ooh, 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 wow, wow. Ooh, 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 wow, wow. Oh my god, I know this fucking song. <laughs> I was on the internet when I was like, what? Back in t 2007, and that was the shit back then. Let me try that too. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Just give me a few seconds. I think I'm gonna actually play that. Seriously, I'm gonna play that goddamn song. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get a copyright strike. <laughs> wait, 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 what the fuck am I doing? Why am I playing this for my phone? Screw it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Right, anyway, my little friend went to him because it's too damn. He's definitely really nice to you know, because he's happy at uh, spending time with his wife. So, what is your question? I think we have a smile on your face. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, uh, make sure you don't tell anyone. It was nice to drive me down and put me to a dress. <laughs> Blacking, huh? Ah. Ah, okay then. Okay, then this time let's not skip, skip school. Oh my god. No thanks, if the teacher knows we're not around, we're dead. Oh, what the lecture is bananas like always. I'm not gonna take chances. It's gonna be fun. I don't know, play safe and stay. Oh, not you two. Two beats one, is decided. Ah, oh, party poopers. I went inside the class and took class, just like every other day. So if something seems off with Sari today, she's unusually quiet now. Time passed by, it's finally dismissal. Who wants to go with me by a PS3 game? Damn, I'm so excited. I hope you're excited to get a red mark too. Huh? Remember, swing it. You're free. Come to my office now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo, I've seen situations like this. I only seen situations like this in a porno. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Look at all these homework assignments. Look at, look at all these homework assignments. Look at all these homework assignments. I've copy pasted all of them. Fuck. Hey, sorry, you're sick and strike. You guys better start behaving. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How does he know what's coming? We'll get fucked! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Good, you may leave now. After giving us an amazing extra lecture, we went to the kitchen's lounge. Right, this is what I get for being kind, huh? Sorry, man. Oh, you think sorrow will give me a better impression of man sung it? You think sorrow will make my grace better? You think sorrow can pip? Jeez, cut us some slack. You don't have to go cranky. Cranky? I have to agree. You don't sound okay today, Reese. Is something bothering you? I'm... I'm not in the mood. Let's go with that. Maybe a PX3 game should you cheer you up when you're joined by Z. I'm not in the mood! <laughs> Bye.
I go check on my sis. <sighs> she looks like just like that. What? What just happened? I have no idea. Should so should we follow her leave her alone? Something is definitely wrong. Let's follow her. Well, she may like you basically if you both ask her. Are you sure? It's, well, that's me. Well, that's me. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on by on your, on your, on your PX3 game again. Nah, it's okay. Just make sure she's fine, okay? Okay, I'll be going then. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Damn it! What was I thinking? I don't even know where she is. Ugh, fuck me. Sorry. I want that horse. God damn it! Hmm. Go to the corridor where I've never been to. I made my way to the corridor where I've never been to before. I knew it. Ha! She's here, alright. I approach her calmly. <laughs> She's going to run away from me. I'm not going to let that happen. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you running away from me? I don't want to talk about it. Let me go. There's a problem for something that tells us directly. What do you get from running away? Well, the last guy wants to see you, jerk. Well, too bad. We're going to talk about it right here, right now. Why don't you send me alone? I know how this will turn out. We're not going to talk about this for a long time with some kind of idiots. You make it look like we're heartless and sensitive jerks, but we really want to not want to open up about us in the first place. Now tell me what's wrong. No, leave me alone. I'm not letting you go. You're hurting my arm. Talk to me, please. What do you want from me? I come from a shell of how embarrassing I am to this world. Embarrassing? I don't even know what you're talking about. I've been talking about this morning, but then group hug. What about the group hug? Don't lie to me, I know you knew about it. About what? I don't get it. I'm not going to let my damn beep I touch yours. <laughs> I let go of her hand. Yes, you heard me right. So? I wasn't imagining things. You're a guy. No, I was. I was born with both of them. Ah, so you have both male and female genitalia. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Damn. I didn't have a way to retort for that. Well, I'm the guys know about this. I don't even know why my feet play tricks on me. Maybe I'm normal. Why well, can't they become a regular girl just like everyone else? If they had to live a life and pretend that they don't just look normal. I'm oh wearing a smooth life in this girl for the entire four years. But that giant charm had to do this to a crew on bullshit. I'm gonna kill that idiot. Cerise! Why well, you have to hide from us? We're your best friends. We will understand you. Do you think I has the way I acted so nerdy for Iris? I don't even care if you guys laugh at me for being a loser. You've been gonna listen to me for a moment. My point is. Is I let you guys know how many how I you know my embarrassing self no matter how many times you guys laughed at me because you guys are my best friends. I trust you to understand my terrible side. I hope you do you do the same. I think you guys don't understand me. You never did. We're only hanging out for the happy moments. I don't understand our terrible, our terrible sides. That's not true. It is. If not, you should have known something already. I should have at least heard an answer coming from you. Then say I'm waiting for for your something happening. That's not entirely true. You get. Get away from me, you son of a bitch! She pushed me forward strength. You idiot! I thought you hired me for that stupid direction. I already knew, I already knew you had feelings for me. I didn't want to open up for you. Because then, Sharon will be left alone. I don't want our friendship to be ruined because of us two. I want us to be happy together, as best friends. I thought if I let the time pass, you'll stop liking me. I'm sorry I made you suffer these past years. Liar. Huh? You said just now. That's best friends should be trusting each other. Trusting that all of us will understand how we feel. If that's the case, now how you don't trust charm and understand our love. Huh? Why do you have to say that? I... Hey, man, you just mean that you won't love me as you love her. You want our smart of me. That girl is so perfect and popular. I'm like a girl of a cock like me. Don't say that. That's not true. No, it's not, it's not true. You're just saying all this love with all your bullshit because you're broken hearted. You know, I'm desperate to seek love for someone. I'm the closest. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. If I'm living, you're still on the spot. That's a lie. You think I'm gonna believe in all your damn lies? Screw you! Shut up! Get off of me! I hate you! Stop thinking too much! I hate you! I fucking hate you! You're speculating so much your mind's getting out of control! A liar! I hate you! Well, you'll have to doubt everything I say! You guys can't even stand on your own! I must have done everything I said! Shut up! Stop trying to act all tough! Don't you want- Don't you want me to love you? I want a liar to love me! Oh yeah? Then how come I'm feeling hard to think poking my lower side right now? Why well, you have to say that? Mm. Well, I'm a, as a guy, I can tell that the erections are not voluntary. If you can kind of judge by your anomaly, then I should have already left you alone here. <laughs> you stupid moron, everybody knows me. Don't miss my love for you. Well, I'm here with you. That's the passing of my right now. <laughs> Why would you precious charm me? How do you explain this? 
<laughs> I don't care if you think I'm a, a, a dick girl. I'll bet my life you understand that. Oh, oh, now you're trying to understand. <laughs> Cerise, please. Seo. Let me love you, please. You, you stupid, you're a liar. Hold me close. That was this that was a pretty good ending. I mean that wasn't such a bad ending. Now let's see. I mean my way to the cafeteria. I don't know who he expects here in this, in this place. She's obviously not here. Maybe I'll be after Dan Dan who knows who knows probably. Oh that's obviously a mask, look. Oh, have you seen a pink haired girl walking here just a while ago? Oh, sorry for bothering you. I have to cast you looking over place. I still can't find Reese. By now I should... Ah. It's obvious that the janitor... It's obvious that the janitor was going to be an important... Is an, an important character in at least one path. But, you know... This is just the path that... that, that where he is not important. If a, if a character has a sprite, then that means they, they are probably important. I still can't find... Ah. Uh, God damn it. Okay, then. Here is in space. I'm sure he's not going to talk about it if you follow her. Yeah, you get the point there. <sighs> I, hope I, I hope I didn't say anything that offended her. Ah, girls are like that. Always unexpected. <laughs> Come on, let's go get your PX free game. Yahoo! <laughs> uh, nothing beats a nice hot shower before gaming. Well, I actually bought a port router too. That's ex expensive. <laughs> that, that, my friend, is what you call determination. I heard it has multiplayer now, it's please free, no line BS! Hell yeah, it's gonna be awesome, I'll start the PX3, you get the food ready. Okay, I'm on. The cancel the side in the mini fridge, where I get four for us. Say, what do you think maybe we just jump? I don't know, like I said, girls are complicated species. They say one thing, you know, which means another. You didn't say that, you said they're unexpected. Oh, and that too. I hope, she's, I hope she's fine though. Don't worry too much, man, we're, we've seen her seen sometimes. Yeah, it's just, well, I don't know, you've you, you seen girls being sad, I guess. Don't tell me, now that the director isn't available, you're going to fargo puggies now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't be crazy. Let me tell you, being single is fun. Super fun. Really? I've been single for years now, and I don't know if like that. Yeah, I've been single all my life. Yeah, I never had a girlfriend. Mostly because I didn't bother to get a girl. That's because you're not aware that you're really having fun. I imagine yourself a girlfriend right now. You think I have the chance to come with me and play the Aston Portra too? I don't think so. I bet you girls gonna text me and say, "Come pick me up quick. It's been three hours. I really missed you." And let's make that trying to sing eventual hours. It's gonna be romantic and sweet. <laughs> Man, you said it. And if you're a single, you can play any time you want. You can play with any girl. No commitment for anything. <laughs> yeah, but don't you sometimes feel lonely? The only thing that because you're seeing other people with lovers. It's called envy, man. And don't forget, envy is one of the seven deadly sins. It's bad for your health. <laughs> You're right. Alright, the installation is done. Is the food ready? Yep, here we are. Chips, dips, and some more chips. Complete four cans of soda. Okay, let's start pa pa playing. Yeah, who cares about girls? They give you nothing but trouble anyway. That's the spirit. Screw girls. Games for the win. Uh, so I got the bromance ending, huh? Okay, then. Uh, I got all the... Hmm. This time, let's go eat some ice cream! I'll go with ice cream too. What? What about the homework? Homework? What's what homework? <laughs> like he said, we still have recently to work, work on that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not gonna take the risk. Enjoy getting fat. So, does that mean we can copy your answers later? If you look at between my toes, sure, why not? Right now? I'll have a look at you guys later. Okay, see ya. I don't understand these questions, she left for the corridor. Hey, hey, we don't have to look at your toes. Come on, let's go, let's go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria, why? For the ice cream, remember? Oh yeah, ice cream! In a split second, he dashed to the cafeteria like a bullet. I fear it's almost impossible to follow his tracks and she's out, he seems to have already. That's not a problem for me, I don't mind what you're doing here in this school. But for Friday, like my first step, I know there's a black haired girl watching from afar. We are just imagining things, I turn my head to see a person clearly. It turns out she's just standing there alone, placing her reservation beside mine. Maybe she's waiting for someone. Our frustration was set up to the cafeteria. <sighs> ah, yawn, yawn, yawn. Sorry. 
I'm not bored. I'm just I just woke up recently about two hours ago. You bought ice cream for the for each for each of us here in the cafeteria. And sorry, it's been it's been your seats available. What did you get? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. I don't get tired of it. How about you? Vanilla, simple and sweet. Just like her, huh? Who? You know. I'm not following. You don't have to act dumb. You know what I'm talking about. Speak of the devil. He gestures his head, pointing out someone far from us. Thanks. I'm glad we can explain to you. Come on, let's go, Iris. She's talking to a fan. Give her some time. I'm done. What should, what should we take? Ah, you mean her. She sure looks simple, just like ice cream. He had her directing her to sweet. Likewise. She became a director of an indie film, right? Twice. Her film was left with happiness and didn't become popular, but her latest film, Wherever You Are, was quite a hit. You sure know your stuff. Take it over to Iris. Ah. Uh, yeah. I have already described her. Blah, blah, blah. No name puns for Iris. I got nothing in mind. I can think when we feel, let's see. I stop. We should have taken the opportunity to talk to her before she gets so much attention. I know. Now that she's popular, I can even get closer. Of course you can. You just need the guys to approach her. I don't know. Talk to her about something. Like, I uh, ask if she's got any new projects. So you can give her a hand again. Hmm. Well, if she doesn't have any projects, suggest one. Pull the conversation out of it. I'll think about that. Alpha is trying to know, baby, if I'm gonna pull around the alphabet up, but you went. Oh man, probably before class, we better get moving. You went what? Come on, come on, let's go. After shutting the room, ice cream is mouth to kiss off his chair and just push stairs. That's like showing him several minutes ago, he's out of sight again. I said I can follow him shortly after. We arrived at our classroom. The first thing we saw is Sari sitting in her chair for this expression. Oh, look, what's that? It comes show off. Silly and charming. Don't call me silly, oh my god. Hmm. Let's go let's go to the cafeteria. <laughs> Last time you followed her and so Let's see, maybe I would get a dim sum from a shoe queen or a burger from Happy Bee. Yeah, I think I get kicked with yellow yarn. After a few minutes, I got myself another vanilla ice cream. I reached my pocket and pulled out my cell phone. I figured it was one to see ice cream, so I watched, so I watched Love of Happiness again. But then I remember I only have 15 minutes of free time, so I didn't continue with it instead of my phone instead. I don't know why I keep on watching this indie film. I know it was made by Iris, but I think there's more to it. The movie is about a guy who was making a masterpiece necklace for his loved one. He worked on it for months. But in the middle of the movie, he lo his loved one had to move out of the country with his family, with her half family. He promised that he would finish it on time before, before she leaves. Unfortunately, when the necklace was almost completely broken to pieces, he apologized for her in the end, but she said it's okay. She told him that being with him before she leaves him was the best gift she ever had. You were the fucking best. The ending is sad, bitter, bitter, sweet, but I like it nonetheless. I don't understand the second where we are, but I saw like more than that film. <laughs> Well, I idled beside the ice cream stall. I noticed a black-haired girl from afar who appears to be looking at my direction. I squinted my eyes to get clear view and turns out that she's moving beside me. <laughs> I just like imagining things. Yeah, it's a bad habit. Huh? A weird and rare fat person who knows who's staring behind me. Oh, look, as I said, some guy d important in another path, unimportant in another, in another, important in this path, unimportant in another path. Good delusional. Good delusional. Okay. How'd you know I was thinking? You were talking to yourself. Oh. Mm -hmm. I asked you a guy wearing a girl looking mask. Cliche. Hmm, mm -hmm. that's good kid. Head for a filthy table nearby. Oh, you just also wear a bare head back. Oh, Iris, okay. <laughs> okay then. <sighs> Maybe if I'm Okay, then that doesn't change much. So let's just. Uh, baby, if I'm gonna fool around with the alphabet, I'm gonna put U and. Excuse me? U and R? So I can spell U R B U T. Fool. Man, I'm a genius. I'm just kidding. Why do you ask? Ah, god damn it. I thought I was gonna change something, but nope. Not a single change to insight. I wanted to get to different paths instead of, you know. I want to show you uh, at least most of the endings, you know. Uh, 
Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Blah blah blah. No, oh, that's a ch is that. Ah, okay. I thought it's, uh, I thought it was gonna change. I thought it was gonna change at least something, but nope. Sad? Excuse me? How can I help but hear your conversation? Are you sad? I don't want to talk about it. Maybe, let me think. Should I? I don't want to talk about it. So you're into this love of crap, huh? Crap, you say? You obviously don't know anything about love. You don't belong here, huh? I just told me that she left. I think I've seen her before. Oh well. I had to go back to the classroom. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a stalker? Oh. Haha, <laughs> stalker. I got his own stalker. Oh my god, that's just. Isn't that some sort of sitcom thing? <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. On his classes. Okay, I'm in. Why not? I gotta go home back. Okay, no problem. Alright, let's get out of here. What to find out of school? Left to death. Holy crap, Left 4 Dead. Oh my god, I fucking love Left 4 Dead. I play this game with my, f my classmates all the time. All the goddamn time. It's the funniest thing because uh, because we always end up we always end up saying something funny or doing something so stupid that we that we wish we recorded it, but we don't. Yeah, let's play left to death first. To the computer, to the computer shop. Sorry, kids, you can't play here during these hours. What? Why not? The last thing I need is another monk playing about our kid playing possibly land games. Mm hmm. Oh, what the heck, I heard getting enough dough to be pleased with Shaft's electric bills. Just don't tell your parents what you're playing. Yahoo! Thank you, bro. Cool. Yay for, Yay for corruption! Is that tank I own? Ha! <laughs> My ass. You're the one who ran away when the tank's few music played. Yeah, what's up with that? Don't shut up and start chasing me. I wasn't running away. I was getting some Molotovs nearby. Molotovs? I don't remember using it. Not even once. Anywho, I killed the witches too. So I can shoot single shooting with shotgun. Well, at least I can help get, uh, like, help get them all killed. Help me a decoy? Sure, but you don't have doing that. That single shot at the witch was awesome. Where did you learn how to do that, Reese? Internet. Cool. So, PS VX free game? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. What do you find about, by the way? <clears throat> and after then, Port Rar 2. Portal 2? Whoa, seriously, isn't that expensive? I was recently released. I was recently released. Almost cost double the average price of PS3 titles. Yep, but I won't stop me from buying it. Hey, you got me all excited. I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see what I wanna see. Patience, my friends. Holy crap, wait! Huh? Oh my god! Oh my gosh, 4 o'clock! That looks your friends! It's already 4.41! We better go back to school! Quick! Let's go! We're not here. I wanna see what we leave her. Damn! Well, after that was too awesome, I forgot about C. Slinton. Now I can't show my face to her friends too. I should apologize when you see me instead of all they using their cell phone numbers. Yeah, either way, there's nothing I can do now. But to join me in buying Port Tattoo. Yes! I mean, that's how you make a sequel. Nah, nah, it's cool. Let's come on, let's go watch Charmy buy his game. Mm hmm. Alrighty then, follow me. Hey, you know what? After I light the PX3, I'm gonna play in my house. Maybe we can get some snacks. My treat. Oh, that's unusual, generous of you. I looked at the sun, it's halfway sinking behind a reflective sea. Well, I'm just happy. I think you're sick. That's my forehead, I thought I'm not sick. Fine then, who are you and how you doing to Charmy? Stop questioning my kindness. 
Hey, Seal, look at that guy. He's a charming. I think I'm talking to an imposter. Seal, tell her I always been this kind when I'm really happy. Hey, Seal. You who? Ruf the Seal. Yeah, for Seal. Don't tell me you're still not okay with me. I was already taking business. Huh? Is that? Oh my god. You've been outside for school? What? I'm sorry, but I gotta pass on your PS PX3 game. What are you talking about? The black haired girl. I can see her from here. I don't have a word for her. I started walking to this creepy girl's direction. What? Oh, come on, we're supposed to have fun. I'll get back to you guys. I just want to make things through with her. Ah, huh, great. Go easy on her, man. I'm on my way to her location. She turns around. She turns around and ran, ran. What the? Hey! I started running as well to chase her. I just want to talk to you. She's probably looking in my direction. Damn it! After a few minutes of continuous running, she finally stopped and stood beside her rings. <sighs> I approached her with my weakened body. At last, she's right in front of me. I just want to talk to you. I said we were having one degree. Why did she have to run? I just wanted to talk. I want others to see us. What? Who are you anyway? Who cares? I'm just a random person from Illinois school. You're creeping me out, you know that? If you're an admirer, isn't this a way to win me? What the heck do you want? What do I want? Which is your turns face to see the sinking sun. Something I can never have, never have no matter how hard I try. And that has something to do with me? Pretty much. How? You're the only person who doesn't belong here. I don't? What the hell? Well, not entirely you. I don't relate to you. Someone who's sitting somewhere. Facing the computer screen. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Click on something to continue for the dialogue. What the hell are you talking about? Do you want you want to know what I want? Love. Real unscripted love. <laughs> I don't get a thing you're saying. It's alright. Like I said, I'm not referring to you. Uh okay. I hope you're not one of those looking for looking for love from male characters. It's Valentine's uh no, I just recording this as a Valentine's Day special. Holy crap, I'm just this is a creepy pasta. This is turning into a fucking creepy pasta. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to talk to a freaking fictional, a fictional character. Just started talking to me, and I'm talking to her. Oh my god! I don't think I can make you feel, feel special for brief moments, but think, please think about it deeply. Like really, by writers and artists, for you to think that these fictional characters can make you happy. This may sound rude, but may I leave now? To me, have clumped of pixels. To me, have clumped pixels for my idealistic characters to find a script for them to act like I care for you. But in reality, it had no real feelings, it had no real heart, they were fake. Oh gee, look at the time. You know what's ironic? I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of these fake characters. And you know what's worse? My offer didn't give me a script where I can at least experience love. Instead, he may become, become aware of this, of, the, of this reality bullshit. Holy fuck, that's so meta. <laughs> Holy fuck. I want, I want to know all of these. I may have wanted, I may have known the truth, but all I did was hurt me. I didn't want to feel the pain for knowing the truth. I heard become stupid and not realize anything. I don't want any of these. I want, I want love. I want to get out of this damn game. I want to get out of this script, get out of the loop, live in the real world, and experience what real love is. Not of all this fake love that was given to us. Lucky for you guys, I have the option, option to go back to the real world. But in my situation, I can't. There's nothing I can do. I'm just a fictional character. <laughs> you can, you can leave me alone now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I walk close to her, hold her in my arms. I did something I don't usually do to anyone. Real life isn't always as heavenly as you imagine it. You have no idea how cruel reality can sometimes become. Holy crap. <laughs> He thinks he's. Well, that sounds like something I'd say. Why do you think people read stories in the first place? So, that's it for the first part. You know, I'll probably cover all the rest of the endings, you know. I definitely will. Just like Young Derry Sean, which I probably will cut. Which I also will upload today because, you know, as a Hoodie the Lost Tapes Valentine's Day special, I'll upload the original blind, uh, you know, my, my original blind Let's Go of Young Derry Sean. So, you know, as usual, if you like it, Click like down below if you want to see more. Subscribe. That's it for now. Goodbye. Maybe I'll record some more videos today. 